<laughs> Chapter 14, episode 11. Mr. Prescott, this has been, a, been like a holiday for me. A holiday that I could never afford. I am almost sad that Sarah does not need me. I really am. I must go back to my job. With no jungle and all of this. You were a wonderful guest. Sarah is a smart young lady. It was a pleasure to assist her. Yes, she is a clever kid. A little unruly sometimes. Yes, well, I guess that's it. Thanks again. My driver will take you home. That's, that is not necessary. I will take the train. No, no. It really is no inconvenience. Stanfield loves to drive and will be happy he is earning a bit of his salary. He comes up and does gardening if we don't send him somewhere. We sometimes send him to buy a jar of yogurt just to get him out of his apartment. There's Betty like Stanfield. She really didn't want to turn down the offer. Everyone had been so generous. Nurse Betty decided not to argue, not with Mr. Prescott. She said goodbye to Sarah and Mrs. Prescott and went downstairs to meet Stanfield. She had to smile at him, holding the door open for her. Do you mind if I sit up front? It's a bit scary back there. Not at all. Happy to have the company. Sometimes when Mr. Prescott isn't figuring things out in his head, he jumps in front. I never met anyone who had their own driver. Mr. and Mrs. Prescott are very rich. Mr. Prescott hates driving, so he pays me. As a part-time pilot, too. He tell you? No, Sarah said he had a jet. He got other things, too, but he keeps working. He doesn't have to, but he does. He's a real worker. I admire that. 